who made it back alive. As soon as we lost connection, I thought. I can see you on a camera. Ahead of you, in Absolove Research. There's an elevator that you can take to me on floor B1. I've marked the elevator so you can find it with your sight. There's probably a lot of things to explore in Absolove Research, but don't stay for too long. Don't insert the key into the tablet until I've analyzed it. Please hurry. Research Note 4 with Dr. Henrik Anderson and my lovely wife. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Anderson. The power of the hammer of the god is on a whole other level than anything discovered before. The hammer is powering the entire facility and is more stable than anything else of this strength. Even the power cells charged with it has a huge amount of power. <laughs> We've decided to call the power Atrium after the creator of the hammer. And not only does Atrium have the attributes described by Henrik, it also has a lot of magical potential. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the phenomena scientifically, but Atrium has a terrifying effect on certain creatures from the myth that are affiliated with darkness. When it was wielded by Thor, it must have had an enormous destructive capacity. No wonder the gods are described as feared by everyone in the Nine Realms. Research, note 5. There are many gods from the myths which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather, and his son Thor, the god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. And we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Ymir, the keeper of the well of wisdom. And, and Loki, the god of mischief. But that one worries me a bit. Asgard from the outside world. 
The story talks of the gods making a wager with a giant. The wager was that if the giant could finish the wall within a set amount of time, he could marry the goddess Freya. However, when the giant was almost finished, the gods cheated. And to add insult to injury, Thor crushed the giant's head with his hammer. This wall that is described in the Younger Edda doesn't seem to be a wall at all. It's a statue capable of shutting out the roots of Yggdrasil and opening them to the one in control of it. I fear that this statue is exactly what we have here in the facility. The Absolof. Absolute research.